for certain reasons I can't show you guys the screen, but here we go. Ooh, it's going for a little bit more than I was expecting, but I need this car. And I know these things normally go for a lot more. Someone really wants this. Crap. Hopefully it doesn't go over three. I don't think he's bidding anymore. We got it. Easy. Easy win, boys. We got the key. It is time to go pick up the car and take it for its drive out of the auction house and take it home. I really did learn my lesson after the whole mini saga. So I made sure that this one was turbo and four wheel drive or all wheel drive. I don't know, whichever it is. But anyways, we're heading to the section right now. It's up the back here. I think I see it. Let's check it out. Today's video is sponsored by Dafsky. And if you don't know what Dafsky is, they are an online store dedicated to selling only the sickest and coolest air fresheners for your ride. They have a huge range, so there's something there for everyone. And they start at just $2.99. And I think today we're gonna get Neko-chan hanging in the Sylvia. All right, let's get this bad girl out and get her hanging up. There we go. Now, not only is my car fresh, but as I'm cruising down the highways here in Japan, I got a nice little friend there, and she's gonna be going, yeah, yeah, the whole way home. So head to dafsky.com and go get yourself some air fresheners for your ride, and make sure you support the companies that support Samet. I would not be able to be doing the things that I'm doing today if it wasn't for companies like Dafsky. So thank you so much, Dafsky, and let's get on with the video. Oh, yeah, look at this thing, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Let's go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> it's the van. <laughs> we got a Suzuki Every Turbo K van. And I am excited. Automatic for traffic, aircon, everything works. The thing is mint. I'm so pumped and excited. It's even got a nice little sticker here. Let's, let's, I'm thinking full Atasha wrap. Maybe go pink or something like that. I don't know. But I love that this used to be owned by a car person because it's got this thing here and uh, liquid moly stickers too. Pretty cool. I think we did well. We did really well today. We're going to talk a little bit a bit about how much it costs and all that kind of stuff. But uh, these cars are really, really good. Once again, four-wheel drive and turbo automatic. This thing is perfect. Exactly what I needed. We got tons of space in the back. Look at this space. And then the seats all go down. You can remove the seats entirely. I could sleep in this thing if I wanted to. Lots of space for activities and putting parts and tires and wheels in there. Best thing is, is I'm just excited for having something that's not super loud that I can use as a daily. Super reliable, efficient on fuel, and I can drive to Ebisu Circuit in the snow. Four wheel drive, turbo. Can't go wrong, all wheel drifting. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> Time to take this thing on its maiden voyage. Oh, wipers are on apparently. When we looked at this first thing this morning, we had to actually go and get the key from the place uh, that holds it and someone else had already had it. So the guy that was here looking at it, we asked if we could look at it at the same time. Oh dude, it's even got TV! Ren, yes, bro! I'm so excited! Start first go, like a glove, mate! It's so quiet, I don't think you've ever driven <laughs> Quiet car. All right, uh, mirrors, do they work? Oh, yep, mirrors work, boys, we good. All right, we're just gonna go back as slow as possible. Make sure we don't hit anything. Mind you, that's pretty hard to hit something in these things. K cars are really small. Feels so weird in such a tiny car. I love this car so much. This is gonna be, seriously, the perfect cruiser and just getting around town. It's gonna be perfect for everything that I need it to be. New shop van has been acquired. I'm so happy about this. Not only is it four wheel drive, but turbo, makes all the cool noises. I definitely wanna put like a pod filter on it or something so I can hear like the, the turbo spoolie noises a little bit more. Cause like, even when I'm just like, you know, really beating on it, you can kind of just hear a little bit of the snail as you come off throttle. Nothing too crazy, but. I want to be able to hear that the, the turbo way more for sure. Anyways, we're going to head back to Duse's shop and uh, uh, we've got to figure out 
whether or not I'm gonna leave this car there or take it home and figure out where we're gonna put my S15. So we'll figure all that out in a little bit. But for now, I'm pumped and I hope you guys are too. So I think it's time we did a little bit of a walk around on the new Suzuki Every that we just got for the channel. And uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The car is absolutely immaculate. It's pretty much brand new, like all the interior is epic. I love that it's like this old school kind of brown too. It gives me some really nice nostalgia. But the best thing is, it's just like how compactable everything is and how the seats all go down like this perfectly. And the whole thing then just becomes like this huge flatbed. It's so easy to use. Everything like, I don't think anyone ever smoked in this car or anything. And now look at all that space we got in the back there for activities. The other thing is the whole front seat comes down more too. So you can easily set this thing up for carrying, you know, some long stuff and big stuff. And I could even sleep in here on the angle, just get like a nice little small mattress and stuff if I needed to. So that's really good for big trips up to circuits and stuff like that. Um, this thing is obviously four wheel drive turbo and let me pop the hood for you guys so obviously this is a van uh, and this is a very small hood so don't expect there to actually be an engine in here uh, i don't know where this is there it is so as you can see mainly in this front section is just where you top up for the radiator uh fluids for the brake and overflow also aircon refills there and the washer bottle um this hood has been a bit damaged I don't really care about it. This could actually pop up pretty easily if I wanted to make it look good. But you can buy these hoods for $40 on Yahoo Auctions. So if I really end up wanting to replace it, it's 40 bucks, not even $50. So pretty much a win there. Uh, to get a look at the engine, you have to lift up the seats. Pretty common for vans. It came with a driving recorder. It's just, so many things came with this car. It also has like a $2,000 head unit in it, which I'll show you guys in a bit. I already took off the... Uh, uh, the steering cover because I don't like these at all, but let's get a good look at this engine bay. Hey, so unclick there and You unclick over there now ooh, I need to There you go, so that's the little baby engine there is a little snail down in there might be hard to see but there's a turbo there and this is four-wheel drive like I said so now I believe I need to do some research on this to work out exactly how the four-wheel drive system works but from what I understand is it's always on um, so it's more of like an all-wheel drive kind of system I guess um, you can get another good look at the engine bay too if we pop the driver's seat that's probably where you get to see more of it need to lift this up and out though so the seat goes back far enough uh, I'm just excited because like this just means like I don't have to drive my race car everywhere anymore, you know? So there you go. Throttle body, air compressor for the, um, well, the AC compressor. And then you've also got the alternator there. Pretty easy access, I guess. Down there for the transmission. Automatic, by the way. Got that for traffic, dealing with all that kind of stuff. Now let's get a good look under here at the drive line. So automatic transmission goes into like a transfer case there. You can see the tail shaft goes to the back. Rear diff, just kind of super simple. And then obviously another shaft goes to the front. <laughs> and we've got uh, like a front kind of transfer case up there. It's hard to see with all the plastic there, but you can see the, the CV shafts going straight into the front there. Super cool. So yeah, I'm super pumped about this. Uh, one thing that I was kind of disappointed in is that it's got a, a foot brake. Uh, you know, a side brake would be better. Uh, for you know having a bit of fun but hey i ain't complaining to be honest this is such a good come up i got it for an absolute steal when you think about it which we'll talk about in a little bit that's a little fuel popper so you fill her up things going to be nothing on gas too as long as i'm not sitting at like 6,000 rpm the whole time sliding doors on both sides of the van that's kind of nice because uh, i know a lot of vans typically full-size vans normally have only one side that's a sliding door so that's kind of nice and yeah, tons of room in the back. Literally tons. Cannot complain at all. So good. Now, let's talk about some of the best features about this thing that I thought about. And I was like, this is definitely, like this is definitely one of the reasons why I decided to bid on this particular one. So, 
first of all, the, I guess the biggest thing, the selling point for me was automatic. I hate getting stuck in traffic, in a manual, clutch, like all that. It's just a pain in the butt. So I knew this was going to be a daily and something that I tra travel around a lot in. So I want it automatic. And so we got that. This thing looks so weird. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty cool. The other thing is the head unit. This is an Alpine Navi system. It has the latest uh, update on there as well, which means every time you update these, it costs a lot of money. Uh, the map works amazing. It's full, like, <sighs> wait, what? There's a TV card. So you need a special card here to access TV. Oh, it came with a free CD. It came with a free CD. Yeah. Kichi Yazawa, Live Decade. Ooh, we need to listen to that, I think. That's pretty cool. Has a hard drive, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. It's seriously like, <clears throat> I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, this thing does a bunch of stuff. Let's listen to it. It's a DVD, apparently. <laughs> oh man, I'm so hyped. Did I click this down yet? I'm sure I understand. Oh, shut up, Siri. I'm not talking to you. Interrupting me all the time. All right, let's, li let's listen to this. All right, sounds good so far. Not bad. Skip a little bit. So, listen to the music. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So definitely some interesting person owned this previously. It also has an ETC card reader, uh, which is a bonus too. I don't have to go and get that installed. These are cheap, but it's just easy to have it already done. It's got one of these. Um, this has, like I said, this has TV, full Navi system, um, and a bunch of other features. Like it's just, this is a $2,000 package here in Japan. Uh, the other thing is the driving camera was a plus two. That's like, I looked that up. That's like a, a $300 driving camera apparently. So that's kind of cool. Probably needs a memory card. So I'll check that out later. But overall, I got this car for an absolute steal. Now you got to remember four wheel drive, automatic, and turbo. Um, one of these cars, and this is also a Hesse 26, which is like 2014, so still fairly, fairly new. Um, I got this whole thing for just under $3,000. And that may seem like a lot of money, but just think about it. Four wheel drive, turbo, and automatic. Those things, like normally these would sell for probably around five. So we actually got this really, really good. And the thing has done 150,000 kilometers, um, but in the grand scheme of things, that is nothing. These things live all the way up to 500,000. They're really, really reliable, really well-known cars and parts for them are cheap. Like uh, the only thing that tends to happen on these is sometimes every like, you know, couple hundred thousand Ks of turbo blows, um, but turbos are only like $250 and super easy to replace so i'm pretty pumped about that the next thing i just forgot to show you is this thing has a reversing camera too full reversing camera that's also like it adds into the fact that this thing's so expensive oh what's on the hard drive no stop playing it's going to be interesting because this whole thing is in japanese so it's going to force me to learn how to read and write a lot better so I'm pretty excited about that, quite frankly, because this year, one of my main goals is to actually start going to a language school and really start studying Japanese 100%, like putting actually 100% into it, not just learning by ear and what people are teaching me around me and my friends and stuff. I actually want to be able to read and write and that will help me so much more. Um, speaking casually, like I can get by, but I'm definitely nowhere near like what I would call fluent. A lot of my friends and stuff, like they tell they tell me I'm fine and stuff like that, but um, I really, really want to go and actually get at least N2, which is like N1 is the highest. Normal Japanese people, born and bred Japanese people, can't even just go and get N1 without studying. So N1 is like crazy good. Um, I want to get at least N2, which is like kind of just like what a normal Japanese person would get. So that's my goal. Um, it's kind of crazy, but I think I can get it done this year, especially considering it doesn't look like travel is going to open up much. So I can really focus on studying Japanese and with what I want to do with the channel and change uh, to every second day uploads, I think it's going to really help with that. Roughly one to two days, we'll be able to start driving this thing and ripping it. Um, we have to wait uh, for some paperwork to get done like it we've got to change the the shuck in into my name and stuff like that You're not really supposed to drive it until that's done. So we're gonna make sure we obey the rules and uh, 
don't get anyone in trouble or anything like that. So we'll be uh, pretty much getting that thing to rip by the end of the week, which I'm excited about. Just got home and now comes the hardest part. So they might. I gotta tell May what I did. <laughs> hey, May! You know how much I love you? I have a surprise. What did you do? I, I bought... see a paper <laughs> that I've seen before. I bought another car. You wanna look at it? <laughs> Don't kill me. Then what? We... It's not a mini. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And it's a quiet, it's quiet too, right? Hold on. Okay, okay, it says join turbo. All right, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, that's good. What do you okay. think I'm most excited about with this one? Um, what you're most excited about. Yeah, so it's turbo, that's a big excitement for me. Yeah. Four. Four WD, four wheel drive, and there's one other really important thing that's awesome. AT, automat. So in traffic, I don't have to change gears and use the clutch. And you'll be able to drive this so easy. You know? And the space it has is so good. It's like all brand new interior. It's so great. Oh, and it has a Nijuman Navi. Like one of the big ones with the TV built in, reverse camera. It also came with a driving recorder. Okay. Yeah, it's actually pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. We did really well. So what wrap are we putting on it? That's what I was yeah. saying. To you. I was thinking Ruse, oh, like all the like. Oh! So, so you guys need some context here. Um, you guys know that Ruse. I've said on the channel that he used to be like an idol, like one of those male idols. What's the pr proper name? Because an idol is more of a girl, right? Do they say that about guys here in oh, Japan? Nihon Same Nihon thing. Nihon. Okay. Um, so he used to be this Johnny, male right? idol in Johnny's, uh, which is like a really young boy band, and he was like the guys that were being trained up to kind of take over the older guys, if that was sense. Makes sense. But, but that was just way when he was younger. Anyways, I may have found some pictures of him doing sexy poses with his sh his chest out and stuff. What 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 was it for? Like, um, it was in some magazine back in the day. There, and... There's a magazine dedicated for those kind of yeah, things. Yeah, there's, it's pretty much like, think... you know how there's magazines of these girls that guys buy at convenience stores to do things with? There's Same thing exists. For yeah, for the boys too of guys in the magazine for the girls. So, I found those pictures and I think it would be so cool if we just wrapped that all down the side. Yeah, that would be cool. Everyone's gonna think I'm like totally into this dude and I, you know, I swing that way, but it'll yeah. just be this forever inside joke and you say we'll be forever embarrassed. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Another idea might be like uh, Okachan, like angry Okachan. I was thinking like Okachan, like with these glasses down, looking out, and like the anime, like. Yeah, and then we can create a like. And a we can do like audio oh. with the horn, and then he's like, "Nani yatte no korero." Yeah, that would actually be kind of cool. <laughs> and we could also do like the JoJo kind of like uh, kanji up the top with like one of those poses with like someone walking with like holding like a broken SR or something behind <laughs> them, or like oh, a really no. bad like. Part that should no rocker arms. He's holding oh, rocker arms. The guy approaching him. Dolda. Oh my, one motion. Well, with that, I'm sure you can gather we're both pretty excited for the car, and I really hope you guys are too. Put down in the comment section what you're most excited about with the car. I'm quite honestly really excited about uh, snow and ice drifting the thing. I think it's going to be awesome. All-wheel drive drifting in that's going to be sick. Um, I can't wait till we get the paperwork all processed and we can get that thing finalized and start ripping around in it. Because just being able to fit stuff in the back and not having to worry about, you know, the Sylvia and, and the Skyline and being able to start working on those things on the side now at my shop is going to be a huge game changer. Everything's going to be cheaper. Fuel, tolls are so much cheaper for K-Class. Um, just Whoa. everything. It has a rear camera. Yeah, that's what I said, reversing camera. It has a $2,000 head unit in there. <laughs> and it came with a Yazawa DVD. Eh, If you guys don't know, uh, in Japan, Yazawa is like, how old? No, he's dead now, right? He's is not he dead? dead. He's not dead. So Anyways, dead. he's this guy who's he's been- He's a rock star in Japan. He, he is a rock star in Japan, but he's like the old people's rock star. No, what would no, be, no, no, he's, he's like the Elvis. Generation. He's like the Elvis Presley. I feel like of Japan, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there's like a literally a DVD, and it's like 1970s or something. I don't know. It's 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 a Yazawa DVD. Google the oh. Yazawa Japan, and you'll find out. 
It's a five door. Yes, it's a five door, not a four door. You guys know I hate four doors, so we had to go for five. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not a four door. At least no one can call really? me on that. Uh, should we tell them about the four door I may or may not have acquired? No, we'll, we'll, we'll make videos on that later on down the track. It's sitting in storage right now. We yeah. don't need to talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. Anyways, guys, uh, smash like button, write us a comment and subscribe. And I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog. Peace out. Jamata. You beat me to it. Damn it.